Heat returns again on Tuesday. Temperatures back around 90 this afternoon, but could be higher into the 90s in most areas Tuesday. The hot weather only around for about one more day, and then temperatures start to cool off again. The cold front's moving in Wednesday. Still going to be fairly warm on Wednesday, probably at least in the 80s in most areas, but cooler weather and lower humidity arriving later Wednesday night and Thursday. So we'll say much cooler. I don't want to get you too excited, but you know, probably more like 65 to 70 or so for highs in many areas on Thursday. So, you know, a little cooler, maybe much cooler, depending on your standards there, but a definite cool down on the way in a couple of days. But 92 right now in McAllen, 87 in Wesleco. The temperatures actually be began to drop back a little bit here in the lower valley, but it's still pretty hot in the upper valley. 94 in Rio Grande City. And the uh, wind's picking up a bit from the south and southeast, mostly over Cameron and Wilson counties. We see the wind sustained around 20 miles per hour in Harlingen. Port Isabel and Raymondville, but lesser wind the farther west you go. But with that wind from the south and southeast, the humidity's back up. It was nice and low on Saturday if you were out enjoying Saturday. A little breeze around, but then the humidity started coming back up Sunday. Now it's even higher today. It might get a little bit higher tonight, so we'll have to watch for uh, some, maybe some low clouds or maybe some patchy fog possible very late tonight across the valley. But the evening looking mainly clear to start off with. Temperatures falling through the 70s in the evening, but as we get toward 11 p.m., midnight or so late tonight, the low clouds and maybe some fog could begin to form in spots. So kind of keep an eye on that. Now our rainfall amounts the next few days looking pretty light. And if you look at future track rainfall, you know, we're jumping ahead here a bit, but in the Wednesday and Thursday um, showing very little in terms of rain with the next front coming in. So if you didn't water your lawn this weekend, you might have to water it here coming up over the next couple of days because uh, overall the conditions are looking pretty dry out there. And rain chances uh, dry today, dry tomorrow, about 20%. By the time we get to uh, Wednesday, 30% by Thursday coming up, and our rain chances uh, kind of staying a little bit low as we go uh, the rest of the week. Even though we do have showers in the forecast, things uh, not looking too wet in terms of any actual rainfall around uh, the valley coming up. So our, our rainfall amounts and our rain chances looking low, but there is a cold front coming in, so we'll wait and see. Uh, but again, we do have um, some warm weather on the way the next couple days, and your first one five forecast for tonight. Looking for temperatures to drop down through the 70s this evening. Clear skies this evening, but clouds coming back possibly late tonight. And those lows near 70 we might see some fog forming late tonight. Southeasterly winds around 8 to 18 miles per hour. Tomorrow, though, temperatures back up to around 94 degrees. Sunshine kind of hot and breezy again. The wind started picking up a little bit today, but should be breezier tomorrow. Temperatures hottest in the upper valley where it could be around 97, 90, 98, 99 in Star County. So we'll keep an eye on that and show you more specifics coming up. But the first 1570 forecast, are you ready for March? Because it's actually going to turn out to be a cooler start than the way February has been going. Tomorrow we're wrapping up February, but then the cooler weather starts to roll in. Highs around 85 on Wednesday, 68 on Thursday behind the front. The question mark is whether we'll have enough clouds around to keep temperatures at cool and maybe enough clouds to call some showers. Initially, some of the showers may be to the south of the valley on Thursday, but we'll kind of watch the skies might start to cloud up and a couple sprinkles or showers Thursday and into the, the weekend. A few showers are possible. None of these days, though, at least through Friday, when the showers come down are looking very heavy at all. Very, very little rain in terms of the actual amounts. But we'll keep tracking the chances for showers over the weekend coming up in your first one five forecast again. Carrie.